Stephen A. is more authentic than Dan Levitard. People can hear that, and Levitard and his crew may respond like, oh, Whitlock's bad because he and Dan aren't friends anymore, blah, blah, blah. That ain't it. I, I, not it at all. It's just I had to come to a realization about who Dan Levitard is. <laughs> Dan Levitard and I used to be very good friends. Uh, you know, was my best friend in the industry for a time. And, and obviously I've known Stephen A. Smith. We were never really close, but we were friendly for a time. Obviously, you know, I worked at ESPN and, and all of that. But, but what's, what's driving Levitard is He's continuing a shtick that he has developed as that he's the rebel, he's the outspoken person speaking truth to the establishment, and everybody else is a fraud, and everybody else has sold out. I haven't. And, and Levitard, I don't know if you, used, if you ever read or used to read The Big Lead, but Levitard at one point had, when, when that Ryan Glass Beagle, who I like and respect, uh, was working over at the Big Lead, uh, Levitard was very close with Ryan, and used to, Ryan used to write all these things, very sympathetic to portray Dan. Oh, Dan's just so worried about his staff, and his people, and his integrity, and but it was all BS. Dan is a sellout. And so he goes after a Stephen A. Smith, to, to pretend like he's not a sellout. No, Stephen A is the real sellout. We keep it real over here. And, and I've never sold out. Dan is a sellout. Stephen A. Smith knows Dan's a sellout. Stephen A. Smith, I don't believe it. I don't think he's a sellout. Stephen A. Smith has always been about the money. He said he's about the money. He wants to be as popular and as famous as he can possibly be. That's been his agenda. He's open about that agenda. He's, he's open about his support and shilling for ESPN. Stephen A is more authentic than Dan Levitard. People can hear that and Levitard and his crew may respond like, oh, Whitlock's bad because he and Dan aren't friends anymore, blah, blah, blah. That ain't it. I, I, not it at all. It's just I had to come to a realization about who Dan Levitard is. He's phony. Keep in mind, Dan Levitard's parents are Cuban refugees in the true sense. Cuban refugees. Cubans in Miami that have lived in Cuba at some point. They're the most conservative people in America. <laughs> They're to the right of Royce. <laughs> They're to the right of Bryson. I used to know Dan Levitard's family. Parents, you know, woman he was dating at the time, very close. We, we vacationed together, couples and all this. N knew them all. This is a conservative group of people, Cubans, in Miami have very little respect for Dan Levitar because they know he's a sellout. He, this whole left wing shtick and this whole thing of like uh, what you've done to journalism, saying to Stephen A. Smith this, what him and that show have done, highly questionable, did more damage to journalism, yeah. sports TV journalism, than First Take and any other of the shows wrapped together. Dan Levitard, Bomani Jones, that was his partner in crime when the show had a tiny modicum of success. Bomani Jones has no journalistic chops, resume, record, nothing. No, and that, that's not me being bitter. The facts speak for themselves. Bomani Jones ain't never covered no team. He's never been a journalist. He, used to, he wrote a few handful of articles, and Bill Simmons used to call him out how lazy he was and how the guy keeps falling upwards. I can remember back when I was on Team Bomani Jones, Bill Simmons used to be like, what are you talking about? This guy's a clown. He, he, he has no work ethic, no follow through. He's accomplished nothing, and we keep giving him opportunities. At that time, I was defending Bomani. 
Bill Simmons was actually right. That's who Dan Levitard partnered with on Highly Questionable. Dan Levitard had no respect for Bomani. I heard that from Dan's own mouth. Uh, Bomani had very little respect for uh, Dan Levitard. Heard that from Bomani's own mouth. Uh, they could, but they did a show. They'd bring on rappers and let the whole little clown show thing go. Katie Nolan, Sarah Spain, all of these people with no journalism record. K Katie Nolan was a bartender who was flirting with executives to get jobs. That's who Dan was putting on his show two, three times a week. And you want to blame Stephen A. Smith for ruining journalism and sports television? You done took a little flirt out of a bar and put her on TV and pretending like she has something to say important about the sports world? And, and, and y'all wonder why I come across like a misogynist, which I, I'm not, but I'm going to tell the truth about these, a lot of these women in the sports media field. They're not there because they know anything about sports. Many of them. There are some that are there, and I'll call them out by name. But anyway, I, I find, I don't, Stephen A. Smith and Dan, this is what has ruined ESPN isn't, and sports TV isn't debate. There's nothing wrong with debate. There's nothing wrong with even orchestrated debate like Stephen A. and, and, and Skip Bayless do. The problem with sports TV is dishonesty. That's the problem. That's what ruined it. Dishonesty, a lack of transparency, an abandonment of the sports merit meritocratic values, that is what has damaged sports. Putting on unqualified idiots to spew left-wing political talking points. I'm talking about unqualified idiots. Jamel Hill, pretending like she has something important to say about the world, other than, other than tweeting, D Donald Trump, he's a racist. And pretending like that's a serious conversation and you're sitting across from a serious journalist. Jamel Hill has a very limited, very limited journalism record. She worked at some newspapers where they pushed her up the ladder because she's a black woman and she was unique and, and you could get diversity, equity, inclusion bonuses for being the exec that promoted her. But she ain't got no journalism record. Hardly any of these people do. Dan Levitard used to be a good journalist. He sold out and started associating with and promoting people with no journalistic record, and he got in the whole dishonest game, oh, let's pretend like, oh, Katie Nolan, what she has to say, oh, I'm on the edge of my seat. This bartender this, uh, you know, has never accomplished anything. She's got something important to say about sports. He did that, not Stephen A. Smith. Like what you saw? Hit that like button, subscribe, and check out the full episode by clicking the link below.